So while all of us believe that uh, internet had uh, done tremendous amount of change, I can passionately talk all about internet for hours together. The way in which I behave, the way in which I uh, transact, the way in which I transact uh, have changed considerably. But all the same, there are some downsides of internet too. I guess uh, Mr. Kali Prasad read my resume, which was uh, at least uh, a couple of years old. And in the light of when Shashi Tharoor was telling me one day, uh, who is now the Minister of State for um, uh, HR, that you actually um, Google on uh, Tharoor, you'll find that he had uh, a checkered record of even going to jail. So he said, you know, but one has to therefore be careful with the internet as such when you start uh, searching around. So also, I guess instead of uh, Googling for, uh, uh, you actually do Google on Mohan Reddy as opposed to BBR Mohan Reddy. You'll get pointed towards Jagan Mohan Reddy. When the, the other thing is, uh, Kali Prasad also uh, surprised me a little bit in the sense that uh, at least uh, I honestly hadn't had a chance to talk to him. but. Uh, Given my office was interacting uh, more with, more with uh, briefing that was given to me was uh, all about talking today on global business models uh, developed locally. I'm sure uh, it, it has relationship to what Kali Prasad said. Tell me about your story. I came with a small little presentation for all of you. So having put in that effort, not necessarily that was done for just for this presentation today, here is a compromise I thought I'll work between Kali Prasad and me. I'll tell you the story first, what I have with me on uh, building uh, a global business. And thereafter, certainly the global business part may not have my personal history, but uh, that's not something confidential. Greatly uh, pride myself in what uh, my background was and what I am today. So therefore, I'll certainly share that with you. So what we will do is, uh, we'll do this in about three different parts. Uh, part one will be, I'll um, um, share with you how you build a global company. Thereafter, I will um, tell you a little bit about my background. And then uh, uh, I'll certainly make sure that I'll have enough time for uh, questions and answers. An old friend of mine, who actually used to be a colleague of mine uh, way back in the 1980s, and he said uh, there was a team of people coming from Pratt & Whitney and uh, they like to have dinner with me. No, no, sorry, I'll, I'll, the other way around. It was, you know, he said the team of Pratt & Whitney people coming late that night, and uh, uh, why don't you come and join us for dinner? So I said, one cardinal principle I had in life is without uh, the host inviting me, I couldn't <laughs> tag on with somebody. That's a cardinal principle of life. Uh, I'm a good salesman, no denying at all, but not a salesman to the level where I can say, I'll just go because somebody said, ha ha, come on, let's have dinner together. So he said, no, that's not a big issue. I'll make sure that uh, in the next uh, one hour, you will get uh, a invitation. And true to his word, he uh, kept up his word. This was in Grand Kaktia, um, downstairs. Uh, then we were announced that the team actually was coming on uh, a flight from Delhi. Uh, those were the days we didn't have so many frequent flights either. This was 2000, 13 years back. So they said flight was delayed. So um, it was 8 o'clock, 8.30. And uh, still there was no sign of people. So thereafter, of course, uh, uh, slowly one after the other, a team of 15 people descended uh, for this uh, dinner. There are not many people uh, who were uh, local. It was me, uh, this friend of mine from Jaisara Tools. Uh, there was somebody whom I knew very well from uh, the old uh, demised company called Satyam Computers, uh, and uh, a few others. So I keep saying the first thing that uh, we have to understand when you uh, meet a fairly large team uh, uh, first lesson of my life is you need to make a distinction between who is the coffee maker and who is the decision maker. Because you can't, you can't in the span of uh, uh, next hour or one and a half hours that's left to you, you can't definitely uh, network yourself with uh, uh, 15 people. Or it took me uh, you know, probably 10, 15 minutes before I decided who the guy was. And it was a gentleman called Ed Crow. Ed Crow was the VP of Engineering. And certainly, I'm not promoting uh, wine drinking in this uh, room, but uh, thereafter, between Ed Crow, I gave him all the virtues of Indian wine, drank a bottle of wine. 
And at the end of it, it was uh, more like about quarter to 11, where I was, my mind was still set on trying to take the flight. Uh, that's, I guess, a trait you need to develop. You need to ensure. You can quickly run through, uh, you know, use hang on to one guy. The first guy you met, uh, Murli, <laughs> the evening is done, <laughs> right? So you need to, uh, so therefore quickly you need to get to all the people. And then you, you decide, you know, you, you can still make out who's making the noise. Um, Respect of what we talk about, uh, the world we live in today, um, the, all the changes have, that come, Gen Y and so on and so forth. But still, uh, if Ed Crow was looking around, everybody was looking at him. Uh, Ed Crow did not uh, look, everybody was at his attention. So that was very clear indicator that he was the man. Uh, he was the man. So therefore, my mind was all set to say that I'm going in the morning, but then Ed Crow told me at quarter 11, Mohan, you're not on my agenda tomorrow. Uh, can we come to your facility? I said, uh, look, you can. And uh, I told him what I was doing at that point of time. And of course, uh, he said, I decided, uh, great opportunity. Um, I was talking to a Fortune 20 uh, manufacturing company of United States, the vice president of engineering. I wouldn't have another opportunity. So they said they'll come at uh, half past 10. I, uh, in the neighborhood, in high tech city, I had a brand new facility. Brand new facility to the extent that it's a five floor facility. God has been kind to me, I now have the luxury of having a floor of my office, that's the fifth floor I have. But uh, those days we did not even furnish more than a floor. That's what we had. Um, and Ed Croke and we had just uh, made a provisional uh, uh, conference room. And we huddled all these 15 people with at least five other colleagues of mine, 20 of us, uh, absolutely crammed into this room.